Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, we will be walking through how we can use Crack Map Exec to perform user account attacks such as password spraying and brute forcing on a Windows or Active Directory environment. So let's first take a look at the description for Crack Map Exec. So we can see that this tool is installed by default in Kali and this tool is highly recommended for pen testing windows and active directory environment so this tool has a lot of functionalities and in this video we will just be going through how we can use this to perform user account attacks so if we look at the miter attack framework we can see that the crap attack is really popular it is being used by various apt groups and it will be very beneficial for us to get familiarized with this tool on how to use it so let's get started so let's first take a look at crack map exec so you can see that it supports a lot of different protocols and in this video we will just be focusing on the smb protocol we can see the options that are supported by this tool so what we are interested in is the dash u and the dash p parameter so this allows us to input just one username as the input value or even a file containing multiple usernames similarly for the password parameter as well we can choose to input just one password value or a file containing multiple passwords so let's assume that we have already identified the targets that we want to focus on on the network and let's also assume that we have a list of usernames that are available on the domain that we are going to target so in a real world environment or even if even in a lab environment like OSCP the list of usernames can be obtained via other means so let's just assume that we already have this so that we can immediately proceed to showcase how we can perform a brute force attack so first of all crack map exec for the username parameter we only need the username field so the domain will be appended by the tool itself so we have to do some filtering to remove the domain name so we can do this by using the cut command so for example we can specify the backslash as a delimiter and what we want is field number two because we don't want field number one field number one is the domain name so let's just specify field number two and we can quickly filter out just the usernames that we want so let's output to a file called usernames.txt and with this file we can now perform a password spraying attack so for example we can do something like this first we specify the IP address that we want to target and let's just perform a SMB enumeration first so we can actually enumerate an IP address by just specifying the IP address itself so you can see that we will be able to retrieve the host name the OS version as well as the domain that the IP address belongs to so in this case this machine that is on dot 115 belongs to the domain gemini.local and for the other IP address we can see that we are able to get the host name dc-gemini and this DC belongs to the Gemini.local domain as well so it doesn't matter which of the IP address we target because ultimately the authentication will proceed at the DC so let's just use .115 for this example so we can specify the dash u parameter to the username .txt file that we have filtered earlier on and for the password and for the password parameter let's just input one value such as the password one exclamation mark value so this is a very common password and with this we can continue the brute force attack so what this does is that it will perform a password spring attack that means it will try this password one exclamation mark value against all of the usernames in this in this file so let's just execute it we can see that um, the crack map exec was able to identify one user account with the password password1.exclamation mark. So 
So when it is able to identify that the user account is using the password, it will specify with the green plus icon over here. So you should also notice that the tool immediately stops after identifying just one user account. We don't want this because we want to identify as many user accounts as possible. So we can do this by specifying the continue on success option. So let's run it again. Now we can see that Crab Map Exec is able to continue the, the password spring attack even if it identifies a valid user account. So this is how we can perform a password spring attack using Crab Map Exec with the parameter dash u and dash p. So by default, the tool will append the domain name automatically. So it does this by first identifying the domain that the machine belongs to. So we don't have to specify the dash d parameter. But if we want to brute force local accounts, accounts that are locally on the Windows system, instead of Active Directory accounts, then we have to specify the dash D parameter with a dot value. So this will then try and brute force for local accounts. So we can see in the example, we managed to identify a few user accounts that are using the password value of password1 exclamation mark. So we can immediately have four valid user accounts now, so that is great. What if we want to try multiple passwords? We can do that by just creating a password text file that contains all of the passwords that we want to try. For example, password 1 exclamation mark and password 123 exclamation mark. So let's run this and we can change the password value to the passwords.txt file now. We can see that for each username, Password 1 exclamation mark and password 123 exclamation mark will both be attempted. In this case, we are able to identify the RDP user which is using the password value of password 123 exclamation mark. So let's take a look at this output. Whenever Crab Map Exec is able to identify a user account with administrator privileges, it will indicate it with this bracket pwn beside the user account. So this means that this user account, Marion, has local administrator privileges on the Windows system. So in this video, we have demonstrated how to perform brute forcing attack such as password spring attack using the tool Crab Map Exec and how we can identify valid accounts and accounts with administrator privileges. So in the next video, we will be showcasing how we can proceed from here using the accounts that we have identified to gain access into the Windows Active Directory environment. Please help to subscribe to the channel and like the video if you have found this to be useful. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!